Today, I quickly wanted to show you the pirate build, which I completely forgot to put into my last video. It slaps in PvP and is so fun to play, so treat it as an additional bonus video. As usually in PvP, and mostly on Ascension, you want to have not too many buttons to press and the most possible burst that can be achieved. In this case, we will be using Sinister Strike or Eclipse Strike combined with Moongoose Bite. The main source of damage, of course, comes from Moongoose Bite, but it is not only powered by Sinister Strikes themselves, but also from the Pirate's Flurry, which make you hit target additional three times. So with the direct damage from the Moongoose Bite, it equals four very powerful attacks in very quick succession. This equals in a very spammy playstyle that can dish out crazy amounts of damage. When paired up with some very good defensive toolkit or stuns additionally, you can dish out crazy amounts of damage in quick, quick succession. The burst is actually so high that it can even exceed the one from the Sinister Arc Intent or can even equal the Titanic Mutilate, especially after the nerfs. The rotation is very simple and straightforward, as you are basically doing back-to-back -back Sinister Strike and Moongoose Bite, because Inner Hunt allows the Moongoose Bite to not incur any cooldown and deal even more damage. The only eventual downside is that all the damage basically you do is only single target, but there are not so many builds out there that can actually do some crazy AoE burst, except for like maybe Titanic Mutilate Whirlwind that I showed in the previous video. We use Sinister Strike instead of Pistol Shot because first Sinister Strike can still benefit from the weapon buffs like Fell Infused Weapon or Flame Tongue, and it benefits from the Sinister Flurry which can increase the combo point generation and deal even more additional damage. And as usual, don't forget to grab some defensive and offensive cooldowns as well as some CC to further improve your resility and survivability in battle. So, like I said before, the build is very easy to play, has only two interactions, which is open with Sinister Strike, then go for Mungus by then another Sinister Strike, and so on and so forth. On top of that, you macro Raptor Strike to basically everything you do, because each Sinister Strike also increases its damage. Raptor Strike has six second cooldown, so you can ramp it up up to three times, which can deal crazy amounts of crits. Okay, yeah, but let's have a look what you pick to make this build so powerful. You go for strength, of course, like I mentioned in the previous video. Strength also gives ranged AP, so it's good for both weapon damage and also the ranged AP scaling. Especially that we will be using as starters charge, of course, for mobility, Moongus Bite, Sinister Strike, two most important abilities that we spam constantly, and Raptor Strike to further increase damage from normal attacks. On top of that, I decided we'd take some kind of weapon buff. I wanted to try out Flame Tongue in this one because we make the pilot flurry hit three times in quick succession. Unfortunately, those extra attacks do not proc Flame Tongue weapons, so probably Fell Infused is better for this one. Eclipse Strike to further increase the damage from our spammable Sinister Strike. Uh, Wing Clip just to have some movement speed reduction. Potion Toss. That is not mandatory, I just wanted to test it out after the nerfs. It seems that it's pretty underperforming, although it did save me a couple of times while having dots on myself. Divine Protection for that extra layer of defense, and Kidney Shot as we will have plenty of combo points to use, so making to only, 20, only 25 second cooldown uh, stun is great, especially that I can spam Potion Toss beforehand and get 5 combo points even before I engage, so this is a very good synergy in between. So I can open on somebody and straight up kidney shot them. As for talents, the most important things are, of course, Inner Hunt. Uh, so non-melee hunter abilities grant you Inner Hunt. That increases Mungus by uh, damage by 10% and ignores 50% target's armor. And on top of that, does not trigger its cooldown. That's why Sinister Strikes makes Mungus Bite so powerful. Then we need Swashbuckling, Duelist which makes our uh, Mungus Bite after Sinister Strike unleash a flurry of blows striking on target for 225 weapon damage three times over one second. 
So this is the deadly thing. Unfortunately, uh, the buff for Mungus Bite does not work. All that Pirate's Flurry, although it's still very good. The third mandatory talent is Defiance Gunslinger, which as you can see increases the damage of your Raptor Strike by 30% and can stack up to three times. So basically Raptor Strike can hit two times harder. And Raptor Strike does quite a lot of damage in PvP, so that's why it's so good. Mental Quickness, uh, I did take it because I'm using Flame Tongue Weapon, so I do have a little bit more spell power than you usually do while leveling. But it can be very easily swapped for some kind of proc damage or things like that. Dark Intent, just to have that extra damage on a combo point finisher like Eviscerate and Sinister Strike, of course. Sinister Flurry, more damage, more combo point with 33% chance, which is quite high to be honest. You like one attack out of three will always proc it. Wanted to test out the deadly bite in this one, but unfortunately it's not really that good. Even though I did roll Savage Blade randomly to have the some extra range capabilities, although both do not deal that much damage. Although it does add up a little bit addition for Raptor Strike, so it's pretty okay. And I did decide for Wild Aggression, as this basically makes my Mungus Bite to restore 40 energy, which allows me to constantly bump Sinister Strike without any talents for energy regeneration. And on top of that, it also makes Sinister Strike hit for 20% more, which is even better. I did mention before that you can make Mungus Bite hit even harder, but you have to take the Demolisher build, the Demolisher cards, which makes our Mortal Strike apply a deep of that increased physical damage. It stacks up to six, and then you can unleash Ready to Demolish, which basically makes our Mungus Bite trigger no cooldown and deal 100% increased damage, and it's guaranteed to critical strike. This is pretty amazing, but then you have to put Mortal Strike into your rotation just initially, so you have to use it once, and then the crits can do the rest themselves, because your melee critical strike add additional stack so basically you just apply it with mortal strike and then you can stack it up with your crits and because mungus bites basically hit four times within one second this can stack up pretty damn high and then when you consume it you apply mortal strike once again rinse and repeat stack up with the crits and one of your mungus bites will deal even more damage and i can tell you that the Numbers are really crazy, although this time I wanted to try out something else, especially that Demolisher and Mortal Strike I love are available from level 40, so you do have to wait a little bit to get it. But from level 40, four players scale a little bit better. I mean, the damage goes down because of the HP pools and the scaling, so having that big hitter is actually pretty useful in some fights especially against things like healer or some tanks. It's very useful, but it's up to you. You can use it or you can use some other random stuff. I just mentioned the cards that are mandatory. So mental quickness and deadly bites are completely optional and you can go for demolisher or just pick up some random stuff that procs more damage. So guys, that's it for the pirate build. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.